Well, for more, let's go to Santosh Rao. He's head of research at Manhattan Venture Partners and he joins us from Princeton in New Jersey. Welcome back to the program, Santosh. Now, SoftBank, as we saw there, posted a $12 billion quarterly profit after suffering an historic loss of $13 billion in its last fiscal year. We know a lot of that was down to the sale of T-Mobile shares, but how much of it has to do with the tech rally that we've seen in recent months, given the company has invested heavily in that sector? Yeah, uh, I think what you what you really saw this quarter was a uh, uh, three part. It was part financial engineering. I mean, they're buying back and they're uh, adjusting their balance sheet. It was the selling part of their core holdings, trimming that. Uh, and just kind of uh, moving, moving, and the third one was, uh, and the market, uh, just the market just picked up and that was good for them. Their core holdings, their Uber and uh, SoftBank, and uh, not SoftBank, the Slack rather, uh, they're doing very well. So that's what's happening. The market helped them, a little bit of financial engineering uh, and all that came together. I mean, but don't, don't forget the first quarter was very bad. So they are now in a defensive posture. They're getting back on track. They're not going to make any rash bets anymore. They have said that. So I think that's what's happening. They're get, trimming that and being more disciplined in their approach going forward. Yes, yeah, so of course, one of their recent rash bets, as you put it, was their $9 billion investment in what's essentially the failed offer sharing startup WeWork. Now, in April, not too long ago, the SoftBank's CEO says, that was a mistake, but given its latest impressive quarterly result, do you think it's successfully moved on from that blunder? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and that's part of venture capital. It's par for the course. You win some, you lose some. And, and in case of SoftBank, they were making big bets, uh, probably the biggest bets. Uh, so I think uh, the losses were big and the wins were big also. So you saw the Alibaba and all the other ones, they're huge bets and they, they won very well. So and that's what's driving this whole thing. Um, I think going forward, uh, though I think they're over that. WeWork is over. There's good lessons. They've taken some good takeaways from that. And going forward, I think they will be careful, uh, like I said. Uh, and they're making some good bets. They're even getting out of arm holdings, which is good. They just want to stay focused. And now I just read today that they also want to build a portfolio of public companies, so which is, again, very good because that's where the uh, demand is right now. So you're going to see a mix, a new soft bank, a rejuvenated uh, soft bank with a better focus and a better discipline. 